If you've ever tried to lose weight or get in shape and started off great, but somewhere in the process you fell off track, then this video might be what you need to be successful the next time around. I feel like there are a lot of diets and workout programs and fitness advice out there, but there really isn't a lot of advice on how to actually stick with one of these programs and get past all the hurdles that inevitably arise in the process. This is a very different video for me. I'm not a dietitian or a doctor or a fitness expert, but I am a person who has gained weight and then tried to lose it and struggled with it. And so I just wanted to share with you what finally clicked for me and worked and helped me stick with my goals and finally lose weight and get in shape. It really wasn't even that hard in the end. So I hope this helps even just one person. So the first thing I did is I had to take something that I do in my business and I think a lot of people should do in their business, uh, Simon Sinek or Sinek he writes a book about it called Start With Why, and I needed to get a really good reason to lose weight. And the thing is, I was just kind of wanting to lose weight to fit back in my clothes. Yours might be to get more confidence or things like that, but it's just not a strong enough reason so that when you have temptation or you've had a bad day or you're stressed out and things happen, which normally would derail you from your goals, confidence or just you know looking better in your clothes it's not going to stop you from eating the entire pizza and entire Ben and Jerry's when you've had a crappy day you're stressed out you didn't eat lunch because you didn't have time so you have to have a good reason my reason was actually a very specific one and a very um, time frame driven reason you'll find out later but I suggest getting a reason that has a deadline so for instance, if you are trying to lose weight, instead of having like, oh, I wanna lose weight for confidence, sign yourself up for some kind of event in the future, like two or three months is a really good time frame. It's not too far away, not too soon, that you are gonna wanna look really good for that event. So for instance, sign yourself up for your high school reunion. You know, everybody wants to look good for their high school reunion. Their ex-boyfriend's gonna be there, or the girls that were mean to them in high school, they wanna look the best. Go ahead and sign yourself up for the potatoes. By the way, I'm sorry, I just, I just got new hair and I don't know how to do it yet. So working on it. Anyway, um, sign yourself up for the potatoes. So you have to go. And so therefore, whenever you do have those situations where your friends invited you out for happy hour drinks and that normally, you know, it ends up being a whole weekend of happy hour or something like that, you have it in your head like, no, I've been doing good this week. I need to stick to my goals and I need to just maybe go for one drink and then go home so I don't mess up everything and then screw myself up this whole weekend. You know what your issues are or what has derailed you in the past. Maybe you have a wedding coming up that you wanna look really good for. Really get in your mind that you wanna look really good for that wedding. If you're trying to get in better shape, sign yourself up for a 5K that's gonna happen in six weeks or you know eight weeks or 12 weeks. And so therefore you have to get prepared for that 5K. Just saying I wanna be healthier is not enough to keep you moving. Book yourself a photo session with a really good friend or a photographer. You could even book a boudoir session, something like that, but just something where you're gonna to wanna to look really good for that photography session. And so therefore you have a very good reason to stick with your weight loss or diet goals. There's a lot of advice out there, and I have given this advice as well on my channel, that you should dress the body you have. And it's great advice because honestly, nobody looks good in clothes that are too small. If it's pulling on you, if you're tugging at it, if you're constantly readjusting yourself, it just doesn't look good. So you do need to dress the body you have. However, I found myself in the situation where I go to my closet every morning, I don't fit in most of my clothes, and I don't wanna dress the body I have because I'm not gonna go out and buy a whole bunch of new clothes for this new body that it was created by all the bad habits that I started. I don't wanna keep this body. I wanna get back to my old body and I know I can do it, so what do you do? Well, what I ended up doing, I just ended up wearing baggy clothes and like my workout clothes all day long because they fit, or you know, just things that were comfortable but they did not look good, like old t-shirts, shorts I've had forever, you know, comfortable but not cute stuff. And so what I found myself doing is avoiding any kind of social situations because I didn't want to have to put on uncomfortable clothes or I just was not ready like if somebody was texting me and saying hey do you want to meet for lunch in 20 minutes I'd be like Ugh, I look like crap there's no way I can meet them for lunch when I look like this and of course I didn't have time to go home and change I just ended up kind of pulling myself away from a lot of different things if you do this as well if you try to wear baggy clothes and just kind of hide yourself while you're trying to lose weight and everything you may also do this you don't speak up at work you don't speak up to your boss you don't ask for things you don't smile at people because you just don't feel good you don't want anyone to notice you but the problem here is that when when you dress like this you don't really feel that great about yourself either and so sticking to those goals or if you told
told yourself you're gonna go to the gym for 20 minutes a day or you're going to eat zucchini every lunchtime or some whatever it is it's just kind of hard to stick to because you just kind of want to oh, I just I just want to be comfortable so I'm just gonna I'll just start tomorrow at least that's what I found myself doing so my solution for this instead of going to your closet instead of going to my closet and looking at all these clothes that did not fit me and every morning being like, oh gosh, again, like what am I gonna wear? I can't fit any of this. I got rid of everything in my closet that did not fit me and you should too. I'm not saying throw it away, but I literally pulled everything out of my closet that did not fit my body and I put it in a box and put it out of sight. And so I was actually left a little bit more clothes than I thought I had that actually fit me. It was mainly dresses that were, um, I mean, they weren't necessarily like the most flattering that I have in my closet, but they fit me. And if somebody were to ask me for lunch or if I had to go and meet with somebody that I wanted to look good in front of, I would be perfectly fine doing that in these dresses. So I had actually more stuff than I thought that I could wear. Now, if you did this, and you find that you have nothing to wear except for some sweatpants and some yoga pants and you're not a yoga instructor, then you might need to do a little bit of shopping. And I would say for this, you need to have three bottoms and three tops that actually fit the body you have right now. You can go to Target, you can go to Poshmark, you don't need to go crazy with this, but you do need to have a little ensemble that you can wear that you feel good in, that you would be okay if your boss randomly showed up at your house and you're wearing that. You need to find something that you'll be okay in while you're working on this new body. So the third thing I want you to do is I want you to look back at what got you here in the first place and what are the situations that have happened that made you not be able to be successful did I say that right? When you did this before, if you started a diet before and you just kind of fell off or you stopped doing the diet, or if you started an exercise program and you didn't complete it or something like that, what was the thing that kind of pushed you off track? Or if you, like me, gained weight over the spring, what were those bad habits that you picked up or good habits that you stopped doing that created this monster that basically, you know, put on 10 or 15 pounds. You need to identify those. And then what we're going to do and what I had to do, and this was a major, major breaking point for me is you have to, while you're motivated and you're not hungry and you can think about it and you're happy and excited, you need to figure out backup plans for those exact situations. For myself, again, I'll give you my example. I found that I would just be tired at the end of the day and a lot of times, well, there's two things. One, I was drinking a lot of wine. I was incredibly stressed out when I was forced to close my business um, during quarantine. And I mean, I was just like, I didn't care. I was stressed out too. I've never been that stressed out before in my life, but every, every afternoon or evening, I would drink a couple glasses of wine to relax. Sometimes it'd be three or four glasses of wine. Anyway, I mean, it just kind of, it, wine will pack on the pounds. I had to basically stop cold turkey drinking wine but once I got my life back together and my business was open again. Um, maybe there's a little too much information. By the way, if you are struggling with wine, I did so much research on this whenever I was having this like issue of just wanting wine to relax me. If you are having an issue with alcohol in the evenings and that's just kind of your thing, look up this Sinclair method and I'll, um, I'll post that phrase down below. It's kind of an unknown method for stopping the craving for wanting wine in the evening. You don't have to be an alcoholic or anything like that, but it actually is a good way to just get that out of your head so you don't really feel like you have to have it to relax. Anyway, moving on, my other bad habit is that I, again, I would come home in the evening and I would be kind of tired, be stressed out, and maybe I would have a meal planned. And I actually do like to cook and I like to cook healthy things, but I just would not feel like cooking. And I just wanted something comforting. And I can cook some really good comfort food that's quite healthy, but I didn't feel like cooking. So I would just end up making grilled cheese for myself and my daughter, maybe getting her chicken nuggets that I use as like, you know, if I have nothing else, I have chicken nuggets in the freezer I can heat up. I'm not a fast food person, but I would get something from a restaurant. It wasn't exactly doing my body good. And so then whenever I started kind of this like, let's get back to where we were, Anna, program, I found myself falling off track when I would again come home and I was tired, I didn't feel like cooking, we were hungry, and I would end up just going towards, you know, the things that were easy to make, which would be grilled cheese. I ate lots of grilled cheese. Grilled cheese is really good. So my solution is that when I do feel like 
I'm in the cooking mood or I am cooking, which does happen quite often, I cook an extra large amount so that I always have leftovers because I love my leftovers. And so therefore, if I have my wonderful leftovers in the refrigerator and I come home and I'm starving, I can just eat that. Or even if I'm hungry and I don't mind cooking, but I'm starving because I didn't eat lunch, I can eat that until my actual dinner gets finished. It sounds silly, but that is what worked for me and it's what's working for me right now. You might be somebody who's trying to go to the gym several times a week and you find yourself after a couple of weeks just not wanting to go. That kind of situation, I would say, this is my suggestion, with those days when you don't feel like going to the gym and you're just like, oh, I don't wanna do the workout or the workout class or the 45 minute, whatever it is, tell yourself you're gonna do something for 10 minutes and that will be good enough. You can go on YouTube, you can get a 10 minute YouTube video. I use the Peloton app. They have tons of 10 and 15 minute classes. And what ends up happening is A, you either just do the 10 minutes, it's only 10 minutes and you're done and you feel good about it. You say, I'm sticking to my goals. I worked out today. It was only 10 minutes, but that's okay. And you don't feel bad about yourself. Like you didn't do something. You're not gonna go eat a grilled cheese for dinner because you didn't work out. You're gonna feel okay with it. Another thing that could happen when you do 10 minutes is you actually feel good after you do the 10 minutes and you're like, maybe I'll do 10 more. That actually really kind of made me feel good. I'm sure your bad habits are very different from mine. So you got to pinpoint what they are and find solutions for them right now before you get started. So that's basically what worked for me and what is working for me. I don't even know if anybody's going to watch this. If you actually made it to this part in the video, will you comment below and just let me know? Because I kind of have a feeling I'm going to post this and literally no one's going to watch it or they're going to be like, what? Who are you? So anyway, I just wanted to share. It's been a very big thing on my mind lately. And when I finally figured out my problem, I just, I felt like I wanted to share. And just in case there's like one person out there who is struggling with it and maybe, maybe these tips help. Anyway, if you're new here, check out my channel. I do a lot of fashion stuff and like styling things. Um, and if you like it, feel free to subscribe. It'd be great. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a thumbs down if you don't. I don't care. I'm just, I'm just sharing some things today. Anyway, I will see you later. Maybe next time if you stay around or thank you for stopping by. Not sure which one that is. Mwah.